All right, Kagback Touche writes in. He says he'd be interested in getting Chibi's opinion on this on the Kagcast. Chris Pratt and Catherine Schwarzenegger de- demolished, demolished. demolished. <laughs> hey, you can't. You're not allowed to correct my reading. Uh, demolished the Craig Elwood house, and the internet is furious. Uh, that's a, like a mid-century modern house. Uh, I saw this. You saw the when picture. It happened. Yeah. I saw all this our story when it happened, and I was going to send it to you. And I'm like, I nah, saw it. I definitely had I was, seen it. I, I was going to say, I'm sure he's seen. I'm sure everyone has sent this to you already. And I, I don't saw it. I follow so many like mid-century modern yeah. accounts that it so was. So for on those it. who don't know, it's a house similar to your house, and it was considered uh, one of the nicer versions of those houses. Not that your house is nice too. And instead of keeping this pristine artistic house in place, right. they're demolishing it to turn it into some McMansion. That'll probably be ugly because. Right. And that's really sad. Unfortunately, that is the fate for most of those mid-century modern houses, especially the ones that are on big pieces of land mm-hmm. because the houses themselves are not physically large. I don't know how the size of that one um, but it's probably not super large. And the, if the land is, what happens is it becomes worth a lot of money. Like the land is what's, what's worth the money there. Um, mm-hmm. So like who wants to buy a, like a, I don't know, what are they, do you know what they paid for the house? It's, I mean, who? let's say it was five it, million. It was, it was some ridiculous amount of money. I think it was more than that. Oh, was it? Yeah. But, well, even let's just say, like let's say it was like a $5 million or something like that. Like who wants to to pay that and live in like a, a twenty five hundred square foot house? Like that's doesn't make a lot of sense. That's on like a big piece of land where they could knock it down and build something yeah, bigger. So they mo- paid twelve point five okay. million dollars right for the house in Brentwood. They're building a fifteen thousand square foot house on the property. What was the original size of the house? That's what I'm trying to see. It doesn't quite say it but the, the the it sounds like the size of the land is really large that's what always happens with these houses and then they get so they get torn they get torn down and also they're old houses now they're built in the 50s so that's like 70 those or so. houses probably have better shit in them than some of the newer houses they look honest. cool and stuff and you can renovate them and but they just mm-hmm. you know at that at 15 million dollars is, is a lot to spend on a piece of land mm-hmm. so yeah it just that's just what happens so like i can't really get too mad about it like and no one else came along to buy it to, to you know to keep it the way it is and who's going to at those prices they don't do it when it's only like one million or two million so no one's gonna come and do it for when it's it 15. is funny though because it does look like something straight out of fallout the house oh and yeah. the, the the first episode was in the, yeah. the very nice mid-century mm-hmm. modern house yep it looks straight out of fallout it's it's pretty funny uh what else we got here oh the collector writes in and he asks uh if i checked out mirror watch in overwatch 2 which i did it's boring i don't even know what they're trying to do they they slightly changed the powers of, of the heroes and made them evil the good people evil i didn't even know there were good and evil people in overwatch yeah. it's it's not whenever like they, they try to make an event like Fortnite, <coughs> like Apex does a better job, I feel, but Overwatch does the worst job. I'm not, I mean, I'm not like super educated on Overwatch anymore, but every time I jump in to see when there's an event, it always seems like not up to the standards of of certainly nowhere near what Fortnite does, but not even up to what Apex does with like the, the uh, Final Fantasies thing they did. Um, Grim writes in. He says, "I'm getting a little bored of rowing. Have you ever used a fan bike? Thoughts on it?" I don't even know what what's a fan bike. A bike that's a big fan instead of it has the, a big fan. Yeah, Simi- It would have, a, I guess, a similar feel to like the rower full of water. It would. Well, why that would that be more fun than a rower? I don't know. I didn't write the stupid question. No, why I'm are you asking. Giving me the third degree. I'm, a, I'm, I'm asking. Like you're still sitting there. Okay, you're okay. You're now you're pedaling instead of using your, you know, well instead of the other the rowing motion. I don't know why that's any less or more fun. Um. Why not get one of those like rowers that has the screen on it, like the Peloton? You know, why not just spend like thirty five hundred dollars on a Peloton rower, and know. and then forty five dollars a month on their service? That'll make it interesting. Would it? I don't know that you can make rowing interesting unless you're on the water, or there's a video game involved with it. I think you're just gonna have to not be too excited, or go to Orange Theory. It's not boring at Orange Theory, right? You know, you have like. 
<laughs> well, it's like you're not bored on it. You're just you're just annoyed. Um, yeah, you can't make it interesting. No. All right, that's enough show. We did it. We made it. Yep. Uh, you can take your Nyquil. Did you take your Nyquil yet? I did. I 